Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans, time for a little bit more equations with the Batty Boffin. In the last video I introduced a way of solving equations by using these kind of machines. We set up the equation in the machines going along the top and then we run the machine backwards to get the answer. Now if you're not sure how to use them, check out the last video where I showed you how to do them. I'm going to give a quick demo with this and then there's going to be some for you to have a go at. Now we're going to use these machines to solve this two-stage equation. We've got 2x minus 7 equals 19. It's a two-step equation because we've got a 2 times the x there and we've got to take away 7. So there's two things we're doing to the x and for that we need two boxes. So let's set it up on the top row. We start off with the x. And that's what we're going to put into the machine. The next thing we do to the x, is it the times by 2 or is it the takeaway 7? If you're not sure, think of your bod mass or bid mass or PEMDAS order of operations. What's the next thing we do to the x? Hopefully you know it's the multiply. By the way, some people know this as the Cadbury cream egg method. Other brands of egg are available, though frankly none are quite as nice. Um, that'll be explained in other videos as well when we do it a little more formally. OK, so times by 2. That means this first box is times by 2. And when you put x and times it by 2, we get 2x, amazingly. The next box, then, must be the times by 7. Sorry, the takeaway 7 box. So when we have a 2x and we put it into the takeaway 7 machine, we come out with a 2x takeaway 7. Yep. Which we're told is equal to 19. So this method always gets the equation on the right hand side and the answer over there. So let's take this 19 and put it back through the machine to find out what it was we actually started with. The top line is done in terms of algebra, the bottom line is done in terms of numbers, so you'll end up with the answer on the end. So we put our 19 and we run the machine backwards, which means that the thing we did last, first time, we're doing first now. And of course it's the opposite thing. The opposite of a takeaway 7 is an add 7 which means 19 add 7 is 26. And now we'll put that 26 through what was the first part of the machine, which we're now doing last. Instead of a times by 2, it's a divide by 2. And 26 divided by 2 is 13. So x is 13. That's the answer. We can check that, by the way, by just popping it back in. X 2 times 13, that's 26, 26 take away 7, yep, that's 19. OK, so that was just a little recap from the last video. I'm going to wipe down the board, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some equations like these, and you're going to draw the boxes, fill in the algebra on the top, fill in the numbers on the bottom, and get the answers out. Now, if you want some pre-printed machines like this, if you pop along to www.battyboffin.co.uk and click on Downloads, then there you'll find some pre-printed ones of these. We've got two-stage machines, three-stage machines, and so on like that. You just use as many stages as you want. OK, so back in a minute with some for you to have a go at. Right, here's the first one for you to have a go at. Four open brackets x minus 3, close brackets, equals 24. So you'll need these boxes drawn on a piece of paper. You're going to start off with x, and you need to identify what things you do to x first. Do you do the takeaway 3 first, or do you do the times by 4 first? What goes in that first box? Obviously the other one goes in there. And as you develop the algebra along here, you should end up with 4 x minus 3 up here equals 24 and put the 24 in and work it back and the answer should just fall out the end. Okay, you have a go with that now. Right, hopefully you know that the brackets is what we do first, so the x minus 3 is the first thing we do to it. So we're going to take away 3, gives us an x minus 3. And then the next thing is the times by 4 which gives us a 4 lots of x minus 3. That is equal to 24. So we put that going backwards through the machine. We get a divide by 4. 24 divided by 4 
gives us 6. And then a take away 3 becomes an add 3 when we run the machine backwards. And the answer we get is 9. And we can check that that's right by putting it into here. 9 take away 3, that's 6. 4 lots of the 6 is 24. So that one works. Right, while I rub down the board, you need another set of boxes. And here's one that you're going to do now. 4x minus 5 equals 19. OK, so you have a go with that one. Right, the order of operations is different on this one. The closest thing into the x is the times by 4. OK, multiplies get done before takeaways. It's not because the 4 is at the front and the, on the left and the 5 is on the right. Maths, I hope you know, does not read left to right. OK, that gets done first because it's a multiply and all multiplies get done before subtracts. So we're going to times by 4 to give us a 4x. And then we're going to subtract 5 to give us 4x minus 5. We're told that that is equal to 19. So we put the 19 in and crank the machine backwards. Adding 5 gives us 24, which, phew, wipe sweat from the brow, does divide by 4. By the way, these ones here are always going to have whole number answers just because I'm being nice, but of course they don't have to. They could have fractions or decimals. 24 divided by 4 gives us 6 for answer. Did you get that? We can check it by putting 6 into here. 4 lots of 6 is 24, take away 5, 19. Yeah, that's right. OK, are you happy with those? Hope so. Next video we're going to come back, we're going to do very similar things, except we're going to have, again, two stage problems, but some slightly trickier things in, not just multiplies and adds and subtracts. So I'll see you those. Bye-bye. <laughs>